What is a balk in baseball? Learn how to spot a balk and how to teach your pitchers to avoid them. When putting this video together on balks, I realized that there was already a very good instructional video available. So why reinvent the wheel when I can just suggest you start here? The link to this video is in the video description and the pinned comment below. If you are very new to balks, watch that video first, then come back here and test your knowledge. Now assuming you know the basics, we will show several clips of balks going from easy to more difficult, or from common cases to the more rare. Each one will play out in real time. Your job is to spot the balk before the replay. Each clip will replay, zoomed in and slowed down if needed, with an explanation as to why that is a balk and any other witty commentary I can apply. Here is the first clip. That's a balk. The balk is the shoulder. Pitchers, once they come set, may not turn the shoulder. They can move their head all they want, but once any other part of their body moves, they must either finish pitching, throwing to a base, or stepping off the back of the rubber. Be ready. Here we have a pitcher who didn't come to a discernible stop. The rule does not dictate a specific length of time for a stop, and umpires vary in their tolerance. This second clip is clearly a balk, as the front leg is coming up while the glove continues moving down. That's a balk. This pitcher stepped to throw to first base, but didn't actually complete the throw. You cannot fake a throw to first without stepping back off the rubber first. Had he completed this throw to first, this wouldn't be a balk. Often you will see pitchers start from the windup with a runner on base, then realize they should pitch from the stretch. To switch from the windup to the stretch, this pitcher must step off the back of the rubber with his right foot and disengage the rubber first. Since his left leg moves first, the runner assumes he is starting his pitch and takes off. Once he moves that foot first, he must complete the pitch. He didn't, so it's a balk. That's a balk. That's a balk. Yep. Here we have the same thing, only this pitcher balked even before he turned to throw out the runner. You will notice his right knee buckles. That little movement tells the runner he's starting to pitch and has to complete it. That is a balk and isn't always called in youth baseball. But if the runner is clearly fooled by it, it should be called. Of course, he makes an even worse balk move when he turns around to throw to second from the windup. Max, not from the lined up. Step off. Come on, know the situation, buddy. And once again from the wind up, only this pitcher did step off the rubber before resetting up correctly. But did you catch what the umpire missed? He steps off with his wrong foot. It should have been called, and an alert runner would have taken off once that front foot moved. And yes, that's my head blocking the camera, and no, I wasn't going to point out the balk on my pitcher if the umpire missed it. That's not how you step off. So this pitcher is in the stretch and for some reason the coach wants him to step off. Only he stepped forward and not back. This is a balk. He must step off the back of the rubber with his pivot foot first. They say that they're doing it to make us happy, but they're doing it to make us happy. Ooh, you're dead in the chair. Everything's for money. Like, everything. So this balk, not called, is a judgment call. I would call this a balk if I see it. There's this idea out there that if you step within a 45 degree angle closer to third than home, it's okay. That's only true if the umpire says it's true. The rule says, step directly toward a base and throw. Also, his foot appears to go towards home, then towards third, which is an automatic balk call, if seen. 
Either way, this is way too risky to do throwing to third. If the umpire calls it, the run scores. That's our warning. Here's another pitcher going from the windup when he shouldn't. Once that runner goes, the pitcher gets distracted and hesitates. And yes, that is a balk. Even without runners on base, this type of move is illegal and called a ball. In this clip, we have two balks in one. Did you see them both? The first balk is extremely common and rarely called when pitchers are first learning. It's the double set. Normally the hands of the pitcher are apart when they get the sign. Then they come together, coming set. If the pitcher starts with his hands together, then steps back to come set, that is a balk technically. In youth baseball, if the runner isn't fooled, I'll let it go and talk with the coach between innings so he can teach his pitchers the correct way to pitch. The second balk is clear. He starts his pitch and because the runner got an early jump, he stops. This one is missed a lot by umpires. It's not common and sometimes they just won't call it. The pitcher moves his front knee, stops, then starts again. Pitchers will do this, usually more subtly, to get a read on if a runner is going to steal. They may also twitch their knee just a little bit and then almost immediately throw to catch the runner. Since the runner is watching that front leg, he's going to take off once it starts. This is far more common in high school. Pitchers will practice this and attempt to get really good at it. Youth pitchers are typically not that cunning. Another runner taking off early that surprises the pitcher causing him to balk. This is certainly not called this strictly at early levels, but things get more strict as kids get more advanced. With runners on first and third, this is pretty common for runners. They take off when the pitcher starts to come set in hopes that he might do what this pitcher does and then get the runner on third to score. What is the balk here? The pitcher didn't step first, then throw. A pitcher must step directly towards the base and then throw, not throw and then step. The balk here is really picky for youth pitchers, but it is a balk. Pitcher may not bring his hands to his mouth while in contact with the pitcher's plate. If he is off the rubber, then he can do just as he did. If the pitcher licks his fingers, he must wipe off before going to the ball. He does that, only he was in contact with the pitcher's plate at the time, and the alert umpire called it. So here we go again with the mythical 45 degree angle stuff. This is very common for lefties. I'd personally call this a balk, but it's really hard for a two umpire crew to catch it. It's a judgment call, of course, so if it's called, the runner just goes to second. It's not a run scored like at third base, so probably worth the risk. But I've yet to see a runner get caught because of this type of step. He's a lefty, a little bigger, a little bigger. If you caught this one, good for you. It's almost never caught by a two umpire system. The pitcher's front foot passed behind the plane of the pitcher's plate. Once the foot breaks that plane, he has to pitch. Don't confuse this with the front knee. The rule is only concerned with the front foot breaking that plane. Hey, blue. Hey, blue. This foot passed the line. I, 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 I know I know. Just watch it next time. Okay, two balks here. 
One, he turns his shoulder after coming set. The next balk is his left knee buckles when he attempts to step off the back of the rubber quickly, which is technically a balk. He does step back with his pivot foot, which he can do, but since he tries to do it so fast to catch the runner, he technically balks in the process. That's a balk! This one is clearly a balk and has to be called because the runner is taking off once that front leg moves. He can't start and not finish. If you like this way of teaching the balk rule, let me know in the comments. If I can find more unique youth balk clips, I'll make a part two. If you are interested in more balks before that, check out the MLB balks. You'll really have a hard time figuring out how some of those are balks. They are uber strict at that level.